was in such a rush. And and why am I always the last one to know what's going on? Daddy. Come on, sweetheart. Explain this to me. What's, what's really happening? Daddy, I didn't want to bother you because I know you're sick. I'm never too sick to talk to you. You're supposed to know that. And I know it's probably your mother. You know? She's always exaggerating, making a mountain out of a molehill. How long have you known this young man? Daddy, about a month. Honey, a month? Things are moving kind of quickly here. You know, I'm a little concerned about oh, that. But I also trust, you know, your judgment. Now, now tell me something about this young man. What, what, what does he do? Yes, Daddy, he has a job. Daddy, he will... Construction, and he's a man with ambition. He just don't want to just do construction, Daddy. Daddy, he wants to do other things. And that he's talented. He... he... <laughs> He loves me. Honey, you're an adult now, you know, and, and I respect your decisions. Anything that you decide to do, you know, uh, I'm, I'm behind you 100%, sweetheart. I can't pretend that I, I, I'm not concerned about this time. And you deciding now to make a decision so serious as far as, like, getting married. He even wanted to call you to ask you for my hand in marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, what's so funny? Uh, <laughs> Debbie, honey, you know, uh, I'm listening to your story and I can't help but, but laugh, you know, because your story reminds me of your mother and my story. See, I've never told you or your brothers this story before, but I'm going to tell you now. When your mother and I first started going around, no, they didn't like her one little bit, not even a little bit, because she came from Nelson Street That's where she she was from. And, and my family, they're wealthy. We live in Goodwood Park. I went to Fatima College. I played hockey. You know, all the girls that, that went to convent and, and went to bishops and sags, they liked me. You know, and, and, and at the time, I was a pretty good catch. I mean, I was a handsome fellow <laughs> at the time. And, uh, you know, pretty popular. And my family didn't like your mother at all. But one thing about your mom is that I liked her, her spirit, you know, her go-getter type of vibe, her energy. I liked that, you know, and it was attractive to me. 
So, you know, uh, now that you're telling me about your situation with your boyfriend, what, what's his name? Um, um, Garvey, right? Yes, daddy. Uh, uh, he, he's actually going through what your mother went through when she, when she and I started seeing each other. So when I went away to Tennessee to, to pilot school, you know, I did my internship at American Airlines. We stayed in contact. So when I finally told my parents and my family that I chose her to get married to, you know, they were poor, they were upset. But the good thing about it is that what your mother did, Diana Sterling, she educated herself. She, she got educated, she became a teacher, and the rest is history. Whatever decision you decide to make, honey, I am with you 100%. You know, and I keep telling your mother to keep out of young people business. Daddy, you know what she said? She said, if I marry Garvey, she's not coming to the wedding, Daddy. Baby, if you're getting married anywhere on God's planet Earth, you can bet your bottom dollar that your dad is going to be there. Love you, Daddy. I love you too, honey. Daddy, I'm going to call you uh, next week. Yes, my little princess. <laughs> okay now. Talk to you, ciao. Monday is shaking the place and everybody going crazy. You think it is it? Hello? Hello? Hey, what's happening, boy? My daddy, boy. Real John, boy. What's the scene with you? Hey, what is going on? I see the mother last night, you know. Who mother? Deborah, the girl. My mother tell her to talk to she mother on the phone. Wait, 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 wait. You see the mother last night? Oh. Mm hmm. What do you mean? The mother come up. Last night I do so, I go in over by she as normal, or I custom going over by she. When she come by the door, you know, I say we go in, you know, have a nice time. Next thing she tell me she mother day. You understand? So when she tell me she mother day, now I shock. Well, mother real wrenching and bending on me, yo. The mother don't like me at all. Look how I talk to she, I talk to she decent and everything. She just don't like me because of who I is and where I from. But, eh, eh. So wait till she say. Well, daddy, when I walk in and thing, I tell she good night as usual and greet she and think she even answer. So I didn't, I didn't come here to see you, you know, so why should I tell you I come in? You know, you must have a job. Yeah, I stand. I don't laugh at it, you know, because, boss, it's like this thing just going from bad to worse. And this is nonsense, boy. This is foolishness, boy. I didn't want this for you, boy. And guess what? Here we she end up telling me to. She went and investigate me, you know. What? Yeah, she said she went and investigate me like she had somebody come and come up on the hill and investigate we and find out what kind of family we is. So then I jump up and I say, so um, we find out. She said, oh, oh, she find out, well, um, that I leave the country three years and that we family is decent people, but we poor. You see what is that talking about? These people and them. You see these people and them, you see? How she jump on a play like she went and take a taxi or a bus. These people and them is well to do people with money, boy. Because the mother had a real bend on me and had a real back on me. The boy was showing she well, you know, take it easy and thing, but you know, you always see the thing like she running the scene, you understand? And like the bra fruit, she too. Uh, look, let me tell you something. Them people and them could just jump on a plane today, tomorrow, now, for now, and go anywhere in the world. The hands long like that. Is that is what I'm trying to tell you? All right, Daddy. All right, all right. I'll handle it. 
See? Yeah. I'll call you back later, all right? You know this cat thing this guy already. I'll call you back later. Let me know what it is, baby. In my time, I have been called a lot of things. Some people have called me a witch. <laughs> Some have called me a miracle worker. <laughs> and some have called me an Obia woman. But me, I prefer to call myself a helper. If I can help somebody as I pass along, then my living has not been in vain. another moon. I know it was coming. I just come off the morning round. Seven days <laughs> I was on the morning round. And I just keep seeing you. So I know it was coming. You know why you're here? Because you're hard. You don't listen. The last time you was here, <laughs> I beg you, I give you all the protection for your family and I give you the directions what to do. You were supposed to go home and keep a Thanksgiving. Did you keep it? No, Mother Clem, I did not. Oh. Hush, 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 hush. You were supposed to invite and feed children. You did it? No, Mother Clem, I didn't. You were supposed to do all these things. Why you do it? Mother Clem, you know I'm a busy woman. I've been traveling. I've been, I've been, so listen, busy. listen, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down fast. Come, 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 sit, 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 sit. What happened? I've been traveling. You know, you know my life. But, but the reason listen. I'm here is because of my You know your family surviving? Because of my hard work. While you're traveling, Diana, I work in for you. I work in for you. I know I hear. I really see the problem. But let me hear when you had this. Let me hear why you think you hear. Okay. Mother Clem, there's a young man who wants to marry my daughter. And he's from Lavin Till. Mother Clem, he's a pest. He wants my daughter's money. I need to I need to get rid of this young man. He cannot marry my daughter. Ah, listen. The problem no start. The problem no start. Mother Clem, if anybody could help me, I know it's you. That's that's why I'm here. I can help you. But you have to listen. Now I'm gonna tell you something. You see this problem here? It's going to cost you, you know. Well, that is not a problem, Mother Clem. Not a problem at all. So if you have money, I have the time. Now you see the young man? He is not your problem. What do you, what do you mean? He is not my problem. You see the young man, Mother? That is your problem. That's the problem. That mother is a serious woman in the spiritual world. That woman has power. And you see that son? The son mounts up higher 
than Mount Kilimanjaro. You see the work I have to do? You see the work? It's a lot of work, a lot of work, a lot of work. That I ain't gonna cost you. Now. I feel that the mother all now, that is gonna cost you. I am willing to do whatever it takes to get rid of this problem. Whatever you say, I can handle that mother. But there are some things that you need to do. Anything you say, Mother Clem, anything, I'll do it. You have to listen. You have to listen. You have to listen. You have to listen. You have to listen, Diana. Now pay attention. Pay close attention to everything. I say, I only got to say it once. I don't want this kind of time, Diana, for you. Only once. You need a black candle. You need some black string. You need a toothpick and you need parchment paper. And this is what I want you to do. I want you to light that black candle. I want you to take your hand and circle that black candle three times. And I'm going to tell you what to say when you're circling that black candle. I want you to take the wax from the black candle and put it on the parchment paper where your daughter name and the boy name written. Make sure that the wax, it covered their whole name. If you leave one piece of their name out, it's not going to work. And when you finish, you're going to take the yarn and the toothpick and you're going to tie it together. You're going to put it under your daughter bed for seven days. On the eighth day, you're going to burn the whole thing. And when you're done, you're going to burn the ashes. And Diana, by the next day, you will have results. Now, if you don't do it the way I tell you to do it, crap or smoke your pipe. If you're not going to listen, go about your business. You come back here. Come back where you come from. I'm a busy woman. You have a whole lot of people waiting for my help. So, okay, darling, we'll catch up. Thank you, Mother Clem. Thank you a lot. Thank, thank you, Mother Clem. Thanks. Thank you to the ancestors. Mama Africa. Thank God for Jahub and Jam music. We'll give me a strength to keep going in the summer. We'll be done with the music. As I walk to the sun of the I keep my head up high. Cause I know that won't make me stumble. He's always there for a while. I never have a giver. No. I never have a giver. No. You know what? We just call this girl and see what's back music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Hello. What happening, baby? I good. Hi, Gabby. I can't really talk now, but when I get in my car, I'll call you back. All right, I will wait for your call. Control yourself. Control yourself, Captain. I speak to myself. Control yourself, Captain. Situation gets me so vexed. I lost control of myself, Captain. Probably do even want to talk to me. I'm going to call Bobby back. Will she call back? What happened, baby? Hi, babe. You just come out of the family, Dollar. Oh, it's cold out here. It's in your vex with me, you know? No, I ain't vex with you. Girl, I would apologize. But how can I not see you? You know, I would like for you and my mother to get along. Because, you know, I, I love the both of you. And I really want this to get along like a family. But I know, I know my mother could push people's buttons. And I see she pushed yours last night. Because Gavi, I don't lie, I never see that side of you. And I'm my style, you know. Kill a shame right now to see that I use obscenity in front of your mother first time meeting she too. And you know you never get a second chance to make a first impression. Gavi, I never hear you cuss before. <laughs> I was shocked. I shame to not have a cuss in your house and thing and run out your house and thing and make a whole scene. I know it was hard for you, you know, but she mean well. Me and you still good? Yes, we good. We good for life. No, but we good. I mean, I love my mother and, you know, to some degree, uh, yeah, I listen to some things she said, but Gabby. The way you and I connect, I know it's real. You know, since me and she had that, little, that thing last night, like, like, what is she saying? I get up this morning for work, as usual, and she wasn't even there. She gone since early. So I don't even know where this woman gone, but she just gone. She gone like she on a mission. See? I, I know normally you'll come over at night, but I, I don't think tonight is a good night. Yeah, I understand, man. I understand, you know. All right. I love you, babe. Well, you know I love you much, 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 much more. Works for me. Just one more week. Only Petro would know what to do at a time like this. Oh, God. Don't call me, girl. Petro? I know long me hear you. Been busy. So what's the happening? It's happening. It's real happening. Since you tell me you're getting married, I'm real pressure in my case. Right now, I'm in the laundromat washing clean clothes. You know, I want a wedding ring, too. Petro, I can't even laugh, girl. So, so much thing happening to me. What happened to My mother come from Trinidad. She didn't even tell me she was coming. She just show up. Just so, just like that. Just so. She show up because she come to mash up me and Gavi. Give, give me the scores now, give me the scores. Well, last night, Gavi come over. He didn't even know, I didn't have, I didn't have a chance to tell Gavi don't come. So he and my mother meet up. Yo, trouble. Trouble with a capital T. My mother says she don't like him. 
She was rude to him. She disrespected him. Gabby cussed my mother. Yes, girl. Back at Nile in the place. Uh, oh, God. And, I, and as I hear the I say, everything going good, all that going on, my head hot. That's why I'm calling you because I don't know what to do. I love Gabby and I love my mother. I don't know what to do. Guys, that's one you have to deal with. Or you have to do what you have to do as far as your happiness. So I'm trying to tell my mother that, that he makes me happy. She think Gabby after my money. You just have to hear how. And see where your mother really coming from. I, I went from being happy to unhappy to happy to unhappy. I feel like I'm on a roller coaster. I can't take it. I hope everything will come for you. But right now, I am trying to get my king to do the right thing. Girl, I'm cooking. I'm watching. I've never been before. I'm in the house. I'm coming. You're wearing some. You know, I want. But it don't work out for you. It don't work out. One thing you can always make me laugh. No matter what problem I have, you can always make me laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you remember to put fabric softener in the uh, in the in the in the red? Yes, yes. I'm doing it. I put it fabric softener in the red. I'm doing everything, girl. So I'll call you, but girl. Girl, say a little prayer for me. This thing is it, hotter than hot. Call me. You know I'm here for you. Yeah.